The time has come for me to leave Hong Kong to go back to Guizhou, my wife's hometown in Guangdong, mainland China. Before I go, one last look at Chim Sha Choi, where I've been staying in Kowloon. And a little look at the mountains and the central plaza across the harbor on Hong Kong Island. Goodbye. And with that done, we make our way over here to East Chim Sha Choi Station, where we'll ride the MTR to Austin Station. Because Austin Station is the connecting station for Hong Kong West Kowloon Station, where the high speed rail to mainland China departs from. <laughs> Arriving at Austin Station. And heading for the high speed rail. Here it is, Hong Kong West Kowloon Station. We're arriving from underground still. Arrival concourse would be this way. We don't need that. We're gonna head for departures. Fortunately, I won't need a ticketing concourse. I already have a ticket. Here they've got machines you can use to buy tickets. And there's also ticketing counters up here. And here is where you can wait in line to buy tickets. Better if you can do it at the machines or online, I would say. As you can see, a fair number of uh, trains up there are already sold out. So I think some of the people may be um, changing their tickets instead. I never do tire of this impressive atrium. I think we'll be down there in just a bit waiting for our train. Let's go up and have one last chance to say goodbye to Hong Kong. And here it is, a perfect place from which to say goodbye to Hong Kong. This observation deck above the station from which we can see all around Kowloon even where they're constructing stuff. And even across the harbor to see what in my mind is the greatest skyline on earth. Bye Hong Kong, see you next time. Just got my ticket checked and went through a security checkpoint where they also made sure I had a negative COVID test, which is required to go to mainland China. Very soon I'll be going through immigration, which they're not gonna let me film. So I'll see you when that's done. Just got through Hong Kong's departure immigration. It was super easy. They just let me use some automated gates. Just had to scan my passport with a machine walk inside, show my face to a, to a camera, and I was through. Really simple. Now, entry immigration for mainland China. Hopefully everything will be fine. Should be. Here it is, the mainland port area. I just got through mainland China's arrival immigration in what was one of the longest lines I've waited in to get into mainland China. Not that there were that many people in the line, but just that they took so long to stamp everybody in. Also, I noticed the immigration agents were a lot more talkative than I remember them being in the old days. They always seem to used to do their job almost automaton-like. No talking, just get it done. This one, no, they were asking questions like, where was I going? What was I going to do there? They were fine with it and all that, but in the end... So in the end, I 
got through. And just as I said, we're now down in the waiting area that we saw from up there before. Still have a little time before our train will even start boarding. Mine's the fifth on the list. Made sure I got here on time to uh, get it. So I'm plenty early. Oh, the sign says boarding now. I better get over to 5A and 6A. There it is, I see the sign for 5A and 6A. Time to board. Here's the train. must not be a China Railways operated train, but an MTR operated one. And the font here is the one the MTR uses, that it uses traditional Chinese characters instead of simplified. Well, it does have some simplified in addition, but the traditional ones are um, more prominent. So, I don't think I've been on this kind of train before. Cool. Just saw a sign telling me it's called a Vibrant Express, or in Chinese, a Donggan Hao. And yes, I found out it, by looking it up that it is indeed operated by the MTR rather than China Railways. So I'll be going with them as far as Futian Station in Shenzhen today. The whole journey will be underground. Both stations have their platforms underground, and the entire uh, railway between them is all subterranean, no surface level railway, so we won't get to see much on this trip, but we'll be there very quickly, only about 20 minutes, which is nice being there so quickly. Then we'll have to continue our journey since I'm not going to Shenzhen today, but to Huizhou. <laughs> Going out of Hong Kong West Kowloon Station. Sorry about the glare, but it um, doesn't seem to be anything I can do about it. Oh, 
going into Fu Tian Station. We're back in Shenzhen, and I can see my phone switch back to its mainland Chinese carrier. We'll be getting off here before continuing our journey. We made it part way. It almost does look like a subway station, doesn't it? Or a metro station. It's even got the platform screen doors. That's totally underground. Here it is. And yeah, it's definitely the most metro station looking high speed rail station I have ever seen in mainland China or really anywhere else. This shows how we can continue. And unfortunately, continuing my journey isn't going to be as easy as just getting another train here. Remember how I said that when I tried to book stuff, a bunch of stuff was already booked up? Well, it meant I had to come here to Fujian instead of to a station that has actual trains to Huizhou. So what that means is, instead of just getting on another train here to Huizhou, I need to take the metro to a completely different railway station here in Shenzhen. So, that's where I'm going now. I'm off to line one of the Shenzhen metro. Gonna have to head right toward line one. Turning out to be a bit of a hike to get to line one. Oh well, gotta get there no matter what. Getting closer the station where you can get line one. All right, here we are. And I need to ride this train eight stops to Luohu, where I can get to another railway station, Shenzhen Railway Station. That will get me home. Underway, riding a pretty crowded train. Getting off here at Mohu. And I'm out of the station. And here is Shenzhen Railway Station, where I can get my train to Huizhou. About to go in right here. Here I am inside the station. And my train is G2752. It's over this way. Ah, that distant waiting area there. This station is and kind of looks a good bit older than most of the ones we use here. It's not dilapidated or anything. It's just uh, not as new and modern as the many stations that have been built in like the last decade or so. According to Wikipedia, this station building dates back to 1990, so it's a good deal older than many of the other stations we've been to. And unlike many of those stations, it doesn't only serve high-speed trains. This train here, Z8002, is going to Sanya on Hainan Island, and it's a conventional speed one. As far as I know, there are no high-speed services to Hainan because I don't believe there's a tunnel or bridge to get there. I believe there are high-speed services on Hainan to other parts of Hainan, but not to any other province. Hainan is an island, so you can't really get there without a bridge or tunnel. If you're wondering how can even the conventional speed trains get to Hainan if there's no bridge or tunnel, well, there's a rail ferry that can uh, get the trains there, but only conventional speed trains, not high speed ones. Here's where we will board my train, which according to the sign here is going as far as Nanchang, which is the capital of Jiangxi province. 
but I won't be crossing the provincial border. I'll get off in just two stops in Huizhou, which is in this province. Time to board this train. Here's my train. Looks like this one is a yeah, Fuxing Hao. Looks like my car is way at the other end. Leaving Shenzhen Station. And it's night, so this will be a journey in the dark. Not much to see on this train. Only about 40 minutes and we'll reach Huizhou. Going along at nearly 300 kilometers an hour. Made it to Huizhou North Railway Station. We're getting out of here. Out of Huizhou North. And heading here to get a bus to my in-laws home. And on a bus back home. And back at my in-laws house again. Don't know when I'll be back to visiting Hong Kong, but I'm sure I'll have plenty of good adventures here in mainland China coming soon. And if you want to see those when I make videos about them, this would be a great time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye.